as a white Christian conservative in the United States, ever since I was a kid, I was taught to have this blinding, unwavering loyalty, fealty to Israel. I was conditioned to believe that Israel was the promised land and the Israelis were God's chosen people and all the Arabs surrounding Israel just wanted to annihilate them and wipe them completely off the map. We were taught that Muhammad was a false prophet and those who were worshiping to Allah were worshiping to the wrong God. And we were taught that we were supposed to pledge allegiance to the United States, support the American military and their endeavors all across the world, but especially in the Middle East, and their support for Israel. We were supposed to back that no matter what. And to question anything would be un-American. But now that I'm older and we have access to the world at our fingertips and I can see with my own two eyes what is going on, I began to question everything. I realized that we bought the lie that Western media propagates to us. We bought the lie that the American church or the Western church propagates to us. I don't believe in the duality of the world. I don't believe that we are good, that America is good, that Christians are good, that Jewish people are good, and that Arabs and Muslims are bad and evil. We've always been taught that Arabs, Palestinians, Iraqis, Iranians, they're jihadists, they're terrorists, they're thugs, they're predators, they're savages. These are the words that we've always used to describe human beings. We are taught that Israel has the right to self-defense, that they are morally superior in this battle. But I now realize that he who controls the media controls the masses, and Israel has the power to not only control the narrative, but to control the way that the war is fought. We are taught that this war started from a Hamas terrorist attack on October 7th, but in reality, this war started 75 years ago with the start of the ethnic cleansing of the Palestinian people and the stealing of their land. One thing I've learned about the US and other imperialists and colonizing nations is that they love to put their foot on other people's neck and then act shocked when they fight back. Any nation that tries to employ a system other than the United States capitalistic system, we will automatically cut them off, sanction them, put our foot on their neck, don't give them access to the US economy and the rest of the world, and then we will look at them and say, ha ha, look, they failed, that doesn't work, their system doesn't work. And we're supposedly the wealthiest nation in the world, but we've got millions in prison. We've got millions on the street homeless. We got millions without health care. And we say to the rest of the world that we're morally superior and our system's the best. And when our own people begin to question it and speak out against it, we are told that we are unpatriotic and un-American. And if we don't like it, go to those other countries whose system doesn't work because America has her foot on their neck. I've had to do so much deconstruction and deprogramming of everything that I've ever been taught, everything that I've ever been indoctrinated with living in the south of the United States. We love to say that we are all human. We claim that all lives matter, yet we're still supporting the bombing of innocent civilians. I've said it since day one, and I'll say it again. I will always stand on the side of the oppressed and free Palestine.